generic greetings and welcome to 911 operator once again today's beverage is actually quite hot so i'm gonna put that back i've just made a nice cup of tea and honestly if i drank that now I'd probably burn my lips and then i would have to actually call 911 to get a burnt lip ambulance to come and give me some burnt lip cream if that's such a thing either way uh, in the previous video i was going through the cream mode and it was quite stressful there was a lot of fairly hard hitting things a lot of violence and just um general eventfulness and one of the things i did at the start of that video was explain the free game mode and what that does is essentially allow you to put in any town city generic location and it will download the map for it which is pretty cool and that's what we're going to be doing in this one so if i for example put in london and search you can see that we will get uh, different londons so the one i'm referring to is london united kingdom and it will load that up and we get there you go london i'm assuming it is just a it can't be the entirety of because it's quite a big place and there's one or two people live there so it can't be one nine it can't be one emergency services operator for the entire city although you know budget cuts these days perhaps it is but i'm assuming it's just a certain district or um or perhaps region or, or whatever uh, or perhaps just a, a weird analog uh, but you can go for smaller places so I'm trying to think of a smaller place Whitby uh, Whitby is a lovely place it's uh, not too far from where I live but it's uh, essentially it's a small I think it was a fishing village just send your fishing town and it's like a bit of a touristy thing now as well do very good fishing ships anyway so you can see it's there would be very very small and quite good and it, you control I guess it's this little bit here which is cool what about uh, what else can we have uh, what about what about Liverpool uh, can we get Liverpool yes Liverpool there we go so you right la oh Chicken shops on fire, like? Uh, I'm very terrible at Liverpool accent. But there you go, there's Liverpool. Um, don't think I'm going to do that one. Not very familiar with it. Um, not having been there. What else can we do? Let's go for something local. Let's go for Newcastle. And it doesn't exist. Apparently, Newcastle does not exist. Newcastle, Australia. Newcastle, Oklahoma. Newcastle, Newcastle Washington. South Africa. Wyoming. Wyoming again. And then to undefined. Why is there not new... I know why there's not Newcastles. It'll be new... Yeah, Newcastle upon Tyne full is the full name. So we get... Actually, we get there, there, probably. Okay. Right. Because we're gonna oot up that tune where the lads forget big lash on. Right, let's go for that. This will be fairly sound. And um, let's see what happens. Hmm. Wow, yeah, that's still hot. Whoa. Yeah. Right, anyway, so... Oh, that does actually hurt a bit. So, I have got several units here. It does give you the units based on the city size. So, we have one police bike with two people on it. Don't know how that works. Never seen a bike unit with two people. I'm assuming that it means there's two bikes in the unit. It's just a... It's just an approximation, isn't it? Uh, we've got a car, another car, two riot vans, and then we've got one, two, three ambulances, and then a, a helicopter as well, a medical helicopter. And we've got one, two, three fire trucks with uh, a technical truck. So three fire engines, two crew each. Strangely that the game doesn't really... The game doesn't really port very well. Uh, with it being 911 operator, it is meant to be the United States. That's what it's for. Um, you can see that these these police officers are armed. We don't arm our police officers in the UK. We do have armed police, but standard Bobby on the beat ain't packing a 9 mil. That just, just doesn't happen. Uh, I don't even know if they have tasers. I really can't say I've got up and close and personal and seen it used. I know pepper spray. I think they have a pepper spray and batons and stuff. And maybe one or two of them will carry a shiv now and again. But, you know, we, we, they're, they're, they're just a bit of corruption and stuff. We, we don't like to talk about that. Um, but no, it's uh, not something that they generally walk around with. But anyway, uh, that's what we've got. We've also got some other people here, which we will... Uh, we might as well put the police officers in the other vans and stuff. There's no reason not to, considering... that I'm only going to play one game of this, so I, I'm not doing a... I'm not doing, like, a, a full campaign so I don't need to bother with uh, saving these guys up. I'm going to put you... No, I'm not gonna, I don't want to put an extra person in there. Oh, do I have enough money for another Bobby on the beat? Uh, 
Let's have a quick look. Yes, we do. So we'll go for you. We'll hire you and recruit. And then we'll sort of put this like so. And we've got a little bit more money. So I think we'll go for equipment. And oh, God, that's a that's a rifle of some kind. Uh, three grand. So I think we'll go for one, two pistols. No, not three, four pistols. And then finish arming these here. And then... We've got a system terminal, provides easy access to 911 database, which reduces the time involved in resolving cases. That might be quite good, but it's three grand. Technical tools is good, bomb defusal robot, never had to use that, but I can't say I've really um, played enough for that to happen. Bulletproof vest would be nice, but it's 1,500, don't have enough. And I think... I think that'll be about it. Uh, oh, we didn't even put that on there. Could have a canine unit. Let's get a canine unit and put it with these. I was going to put the canine unit with the uh, the bike, but I thought that might be a bit. <laughs> that might be a bit off, wouldn't it? Um, yeah. We've also got a defibrillator. Uh, we've got some medical equipment. We've got essentially we've got a grand left. What can we get for a grand? Um, <laughs> there's something wrong with the world where a pistol is three times cheaper than a first aid kit. Just, just, um, random observation there. The first aid kit is more expensive than a pistol. Yeah, tells you everything you need to know, doesn't it? Right, we'll start the game and you can see we're at, uh, Newcastle. And we will send some of these uh, units out and about. There's no need in having them where they are at the moment. I will have some... Oh, they're pretty spread out okay. We've got... Is that a technical truck? That is not a technical truck. That's a fire engine. That is our technical truck. No, it's not. It's the whole stack up problem again. When they're stacked up, it's um, a bit problematic. I'm going to put uh, the car there. We will have another right van somewhere. Where is it? Oh, that's the car. Oh, that's the motorbike. We'll put the we'll put the motorbikes very central near the river. Um, and then it means that if something happens, we can quickly scoot about to wherever we need to go because obviously it's quick, so it has a decent chance of getting there. Right, we're already several minutes into this. Let's click start and actually do a tour of one, one, one duty. So... Straight away, assault on police officer. Um, police intervention needed. Three suspects, possibly armed. We'll wait for that one, and then we'll send them over there. Very, it's very close, so it shouldn't take too long. And now we've got a new call. Nine one one. What's your emergency? What's up, like? What? Um, excuse me. Um, hang up and redial. <laughs> That is strange. See, you always have to take these calls with a... We're under fire. Need backup. Need good grief. Uh, I'm going to ignore this one. You always have to take them um, seriously because you never know what's going on there. It might be someone who's uh, in some sort of hostage situation or can't talk or whatever. Either way, we're under fire over here, as you can see, um, which is not good. I mean, I'm assuming there's some rough places in Newcastle, like there is with most uh, towns and cities, but uh, the first thing we've come across is uh, a gunfight. Got a couple of new incidents. Oh, we've also got some other ones as well. New call. We'll do the call first. It's all go today, isn't it? It's all go. It's burning. Uh, what's burning? I'm sorry, ma'am. What's burning? It's burning. Send in the fire brigade immediately, please. What is burning? Okay, ma'am, I need you to calm down. What is burning? Right, okay. Yeah, we call it the bonnet, um, but you know. Um, we'll go for... Um, I, I, where are you? She's there, apparently. Oh, miles away. Um, get out of the car. What I want you to do is get away from your car right away. Do it as safely as you can, okay? Okay. Okay. She, don't say she was still sitting in the car. Is anyone hurt? Is anyone hurt? No. No one is hurt. Will right. No, we uh, I'm sending the fire brigade, to be honest with you. Okay, um, the, the way she sort of was screaming at the start, I would like to, I would like to give her some sort of instruction on how to put that out. But to be honest with you, she doesn't seem like to be in any uh, 
any sort of reasonable state to be doing that. So, uh, we've got a couple of other things here. It looks like it is uh, drug usage here. So, uh, there's a man putting a needle in his arm. We will send uh, the police and the ambulance. We're going to send, uh, what's it, unlawful possession of a weapon. We're going to send someone over there and they are armed. So, I'm sending, is this the canine unit? I don't know because it doesn't tell me. Which is just dandy, isn't it? You just don't know. It should have a better readout. Either way, we've got a home invasion here. Oh, that's not good. We'll send that over there. And then a crime... What? Crime organisation suspects for an armed as well. What is going on? <laughs> um, we'll we'll answer, the, answer the phone. Hopefully it's someone wanting for coffee. There was a robbery. Uh, where did it happen? Yep, over there in that corner. How long ago? How long ago did this happen? Right, okay. Any injuries? Have any injuries? Yes, my friend is injured. Okay. Uh, are the attackers still in the area? Are still in the area? I have no idea. They ran away somewhere. So, no then. <laughs> they him down. I don't know if they're still in the area. I can't see okay. them and they ran away. Sure so they're not in your area then, aren't they? Sure. Did they have any weapons? Uh, a bat and a knife. A bat and a knife? Right, we'll take care of it. Just okay. wait for emergency services to arrive. Yes. Yeah, I will. Okay, we'll wait there. Uh, it's all go to date, it really is. Um, these are getting cuffed. How are they... Are they under fire again? Or oh, is that the... Um, that's another one. Case solved. Where's case solved? It is down there. Right, you go over to that side and we'll send them there. That's a, a car accident. We're going to send the helicopter over to... Oh, actually, we'll send that down at the bottom. And then we're going to get you... Over there. Uh, that'll be a speeding one, I'm assuming, this one. Car accident and red light offence. Okay, honestly, uh, you can go there. You can go up there. And then we still got the one in the corner. God, it takes forever to do a lot of this stuff. Uh, wait on that one. Uh, what's this one here? A new pop-up. That is childbirth. Um, I'll send you over there. I was going to send the... Uh, the air ambulance, but I don't think it's mission critical. Nine one one. What's no call. Let's see what this is. I want to complain about my neighbors. They're being noisy. Right. Uh, what's going you on know then? What's happening at your neighbor's place? The TV is very loud. Hmm. Uh, do you know who lives there? Do you know who lives there? Oh, you can hear it in the background. That's pretty good. He looks like he's sixty or seventy years old. I don't. I don't know him very well. We don't really talk to each other. Ah. Good old neighbors, eh? Uh. Does he live alone? Does he live alone? I think so. Um, any visit? Uh, can you hear anything else? Anything can you hear else? Anything else? I can't hear anything other than the TV. It's really, really right. loud. Have you knocked on the front door? Is he often loud like this? No, he's rather quiet, especially at night. Right. Um, any visitors? Do you know then? if anybody visits his apartment? I've never seen anyone who comes to visit him. Do you think something has happened to him? Um, I'll send the police. I'll send the police to check on it. Thank you. I'll be waiting at my place. Bye. See, why on earth you don't get the option? Ah, oh, I didn't even ask where she was. I didn't have that option. Um, why on earth you don't have the option to um? Reporting. What's this? Oh, we need to, we need to go over there with the bike. I can't be going. Reporting. Heading over there. Why on earth you uh? Why not? You can't just say, "Can you knock on the door, please?" It's uh, would, would would be okay. Uh, so we've got a couple more things here. We drink it in public. We'll send the car over there. We've got a stroke. We'll send the um, we'll send the ambulance from here. Looks like there's going to be a, is that a car accident? There's a car accident. So we'll send them over there. You can go to this one, which is shoplifting, and then there's a fire. Is that a fire? It's a car. Oh, it's a cat in a tree. Okay, we'll send the technical truck then, and then we'll get on a new car. <sighs> Stressful job this. Unconscious man on the pavement. Okay, where for a start? I always ask where, when, who, how, and whatever the other one is. Actually, that might be it. Uh, Do you see him pass out? Wow, okay, fine. Um, any visible injuries? Have any visible injuries? No, I think he's not injured. Right. Um, <laughs> just leave him. Is he breathing? breathing. Mm, yeah, I think he's breathing. Right, okay. 
Uh, I can guess you can leave him. No, I'll send an ambulance to check up on him. At some point, I'm going to do a full playthrough where you make I mean, I make all of the wrong decisions. But um, I think that sounds more interesting than actually would be, to be honest with you. Um, what's that one there? Um, that's the police officer checking up. I will. I don't have any police units free. Oh, I do have a police unit free. It's there. So. We'll get someone to check up on the Reporting. the old fella, over there. On board. and then Waiting we'll see order. if we can. Uh, Ready for the next case. We'll see what happens there. I don't know if it, what it's going to do actually. For I don't know what it's going to do. Whether it tells you what the result was. Uh, right. So new call. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Hello. Oh, yeah, hi. yeah. I have a problem. Right. Your problem. Yep. Pizza is too spicy. Are you sure they reached the right number? <laughs> yeah, that guy sounds um, in an advanced state of refreshment or um, medication. Uh, you're in danger. Are you in danger? But can't talk about it because there's someone in the room. What? No, he's not. Okay, so he's just a stoner that really wants his pizza to be not as spicy. Um, don't occupy the line, so not necessarily. I want you to say, go away! But, uh, you know, that might not be... That might, might not go down well. Yeah, I mean, I'll be honest, mate. I, I do like a pizza. I am fond of a pizza. But, I've never called the emergency services because it's too hot. Primarily, because I'm not that much of a moron. And we'll ignore that one. Okay, so we've still got um, this one here, which is... Send an ambulance to check up on him, so I'll send the helicopter. And we'll send the motorbike over there, which is drinking in public. Three suspects. Actually, we're not. We're going to send the uh, the riot van type thing. This is a uh, elderly man uh, publicly publicly disrobed. Yes, it is a disrobing. That's not good. Uh, what's happening over here? That's a biting. So we'll send someone over there. Car, an ambulance and a uh, and a police car. There's. Something going down here. What's that one? Drinking in public? It is drinking in public. But there's too much to deal with, actually. It's, there's so much going on. Um, looks like there's also a fire there as well. Fire in a warehouse. A very large fire, in fact. So I'm going to send two. I'm going to send two of them. There's a drinking in public. We'll send someone over there. Um, that's this disrobing. And we'll answer the call. Bloody hell. Need some help. Looks like it sounds like a kid. Oh. With your... Mama mouth with your where do you live? Well, where do you live, little guy? Oh, with my math. Oh, with your math. With your math? I have to do it. Oh. Well, right, you have to be very careful with this. Um All right. Because it might just okay, obviously it's just a yeah. It's just a kid picking up the phone talking and saying, I need some help with the math, but he might be it might be um under distress and you can't talk freely. Um, how much do you think it is? You tell me. How much do you think it is? I don't know. Why? Um, is your mum and dad is your nearby? Mom and dad nearby? Yeah, but she's busy. Okay, ask her to come on the you phone. Ask your mum to come on the phone. Mom! Come on the phone! <laughs> Mom. <laughs> okay, I, I don't think this is as serious as we were going on earlier with. About, no, no, no. What about playing on the phone? Playing on the phone. <laughs> yeah. No problem, ma'am. Is yeah. everything all right? Everything all right? No problem. <laughs> it's all right, ma'am. Just make sure he's not afraid to make a nine one one call in the future, okay? Of course. Thank you. Yeah. No problem at all. No problem. There you go. That's all that was. <laughs> like I say, you have to be very careful with those, because um, you know, it could be he could be in distress, can't talk freely. There's there's all different things there, so you have to be very, very careful. Uh, there's something just popped up to you which is unconscious unknown. I'll send the helicopter because it's fairly close. We've got um, what's that one? Situation report of... I don't even know what it is. Where the, where the hell's fire? Oh, where the hell's under fire? Oh, under fire down here. Wow, okay. We'll send that over there. Um, it looks like, no, I say they need backup. I don't think so. That guy's got two bleed, and that's got one bleed. Also, they definitely don't need um, anyone to help them because they've just resolved that. 
They're going to come uh, back to hospital. Uh, fire spotted in the warehouse. We've also got a fire here. That is a oh, amputated limb and diabetes problem. We'll send that over there. And oh, new call as well. What's your emergency? And it's Hello. Wrong I want person. to report an illegally parked car. Right where? Where's the car parked? On the sidewalk. Okay. Um, what's concerning about so it? So what is it about this parked car that has you concerned? There is not enough space to walk through. Okay, uh, it's not an Sir, emergency. this isn't an emergency call. You'll need to contact the proper city yeah, services just to make it. a complaint. they'll just tow it. Okay, I'll do it. Bye. Bye. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of Americans in Newcastle. Strange, that. Uh, right, um, looks like we've got another pop-up. It says, home invasion. Oh, two possibly armed, so we'll send the riot van, and we'll send the ambulance as well. What? Oh, it can't go there because it's already busy. We'll send... What the hell is that? That's childbirth. Uh, I guess we'll send the helicopter because it's it can fly straight across. The good thing about the helicopter is, well, as you can see, the, the, other, the other vehicles have to use the roads because they have to, well, you know, drive on the ground. Whereas the helicopter is a magical device that can fly through the air. Bird-like, in fact. And uh, it just goes point to point, which is fantastic. So anyway, we've got home inversion here, which we are... Hopefully resolving and yeah, there we go. I knew it was going to be something like that. Requesting support, they say, but they're all armed. It would be nice if you. It would be a bit more accurate to uh, different different nationalities and um, different countries because you know you'll have certain countries which are armed. or have a different set of um, requirements and things like that. So yeah. It's just interesting that uh, it is all sort of 911, but then then you can put in any map you want. I'm guessing there's just sort of a, a program. In fact, does it say in, say in this corner? Yeah, it says Open Street Map. I don't know whether that's an online program or some sort of plug-in or, or whatever. So it is generated and downloaded. I'm guessing it's, uh, you know, it, the game's based for 911 America, that sort of thing. Um, but then because of just the nature of the beast and how the program works, it allows you to put in any city like this. But either way, we've actually uh, resolved this one, which is pretty good. Uh, so we've got most of them done. Uh, most of them resolved. That's ignored. Uh, singer. Um, no prank call. Intentions could be made with the caller. What? It was a prank call. No interactions could be made with the caller. What's? So why does it say ignored? See, it doesn't tell me what the outcome of that would have been because it just says, "What's your emergency?" You can't say, "I love you." Excuse me, sing, and then I just I, I, I hung up and redial, and it didn't. I don't. I don't think it redialed. Strange that. But I got ignored minus six for that. Strange. Uh, most of these were okay, as you can see, all resolved pretty good. This one was a timeout robbery. We didn't manage to get to it in time. Sadly, just budget cuts and all that. We just didn't have the uh, people there. Uh, crime or. <laughs> There was an organised crime thing here, which um, just ignored that as well. Maybe we were paid to ignore it. Who knows? Parking violation, I ignored that. Um, car reported to park in the wrong area. I thought that wasn't an emergency. We did ask enough questions. If he said, oh, it looks really dodgy and uh, there was someone going to it and, uh, you know, pressing loads of... It's got loads of flashing lights under it and um, a thing saying uh, C4. Yeah, then we would probably look at it a bit more. But just a random parking violation. I don't know why we've... Um, We'd get that there. But either way, that's not too bad. Um, however, oh my good grief. Uh, two injured, two firemen are injured. Um, Connor Campbell died in the line of duty as well as... Um, oh, Connor Campbell was heavily injured and then died. Uh, I don't like that. It's... It just shows you that, yeah, it's, it's more serious than you think. Even though this is a game, you know, if this is... Uh, it's still not nice when that thing happens. Anyway, um... That was, that was Newcastle. It's got a lot more Americans in it than I thought the city actually had, as well as a lot more uh, organised crime, violence, and uh, gun crime, which is uh, just goes to show it doesn't really port that well to the UK, does it? <laughs> Either well, maybe it does. Maybe 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 Newcastle is a bit rougher than the, than when I went last. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. Either way, that has been a bit of 911 operator. As always, you can check the uh, links out in the descriptions if you want to check the game out yourself. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.